Dun dun dun! Monster X, that's right. He is finally out. It feels like it kind of went by in an instant since he was uh, first announced earlier this year. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, next release from the uh, Final Wars series. I have a feeling we may get something else next year actually. Because uh, obviously we had the Final Wars Godzilla as well earlier this year, which was a really great release. Uh, so we'll have a little wee look with him with Monster X uh, later in this video. Um, but yeah, actually, uh, this figure really reminds me of Licorice and we'll kind of see why in a moment. Uh, but yeah, lovely box. Isn't anything too different from any other release. On the back we have a nice selection of images showcasing the figure. Um, along with the um, 04 Godzilla right there too. Um, yeah, so in Japan this was a premium bundle release. Uh, so it does have the Tamashii Web logo here. So if you are picking this up from another region, it may have a slightly different uh, look there. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into this review. Pop them out of the box to so get a closer look at this figure. Um, slide it out. Uh, so we have two accessories, just uh, the extra hands, so we'll pop those on them shortly, but first we'll just take a close look at the figure himself. Okay, so I've got Monster X on the turntable here, and as I mentioned just a little bit before, Licorice. That's what his body really reminds me of, and I'm really craving some now, which is a shame because it's hard to get in Japan, almost impossible. Um, however, uh, let's just go over the actual finish of this figure, and overall it's looking pretty nice. It is very shiny though, and I feel like the, uh, I guess the armor of him is meant to be metal, but it does come through pretty plastic key and um, I guess that's one thing I'd sum up this figure so far it's very plastic like it really does look and kind of feel like a toy uh, which is actually a bit of a shame compared to most SH Monster Arts uh, releases um, but yeah, the overall detailing is really nice I mean there's a lot of detail grooving all throughout his whole body um, and again with the um, on him and same with the face um, or the extra skulls the split skull look is really badass and the um, painting on the horns is looking nice there as well now the colouring is slightly weathered uh, so we have the base uh, silver there but more of a golden um, touch over top uh, so that does give it a little bit more depth and detailing along with the kind of the tip of his back spike there um, but other than that, everything else on his finish is pretty simple um, and straightforward. Though the overall, I guess, the um, separation of colouring does look pretty clean and crisp on this figure so far. So that is really nice to see. And the metallic red paint that they have used is really nice. I love it. It does kind of picks up the light lovely and does have that kind of evil shine to it. Same with his teeth as well. Um, so yeah, that is it for its overall finish. Um, First thoughts, yeah, a bit plasticky, um, but we'll kind of get into that a bit more once we go over the pros and cons at the end of this video. So for now, let's take a close look at the articulation. So starting with his head, um, this is on a bigger neck joint, which will move left and right. Um, so we've got the lower point and the upper point of articulation there. It's a little bit more limited compared to some figures um, and definitely a little bit more stiffer as well. Uh, though going forward it's not too bad and same for kind of going up there is a bit of movement there. Uh, the side parts, these are on a separate peg as well. Uh, so we do have a little bit of swivel back and forth as well. So you can kind of move those around. Though everything, it does feel a little bit cumbersome. I mean it's not quite as, I guess, friendly as some other figures especially in that neck area but it does look really cool though uh, so that is really nice to see so you can kind of push it forward a little bit further um, than what you can going backwards over to his shoulders and um, these are actually pretty similar to a SH figure arts actually it really does kind of remind me of one of those figures it's just that he has a lot of armor plating uh, which makes it a little bit harder to see um, but overall his shoulder will move relatively well Though the spikes and the, um, I guess, upper shoulder area will kind of get in the way. So you do have to keep that in mind when you are posing them, which way around you want them facing. Um, same for his elbow joint. It's hidden pretty well. It kind of uh, slots in underneath his armor there. Um, the motion isn't too bad. Um, 
I think it's a bit more than most monster arts actually, uh, which normally have pretty limited arms. Though then again, Monster X here does have some bigger arms compared to most of the kaiju releases that we have. Uh, for the chest area, um, there is a small joint in the center there which will move slightly, nothing major. Um, it gets most of that motion in the lower hip area which is pretty nice and feels really good actually. It's a nice stiff joint um, without being too tight. Got some tilt action going on as well. Um, the hands itself is pretty similar to most, I guess, uh, kind of figure arts actually. Uh, it has a bit more of a smaller peg if I pop this off. Okay, so we've got the hand and a separate joint part here and then the um, peg into his uh, lower arm. So there's one thing I noticed, at least with my release, this right hand is a little bit harder to change due to that. Um, instead of popping off at the peg, it kind of pops off at the second area. Uh, so if you have the same issue, you may need to get some pliers to pull out the peg so you can switch hands easily. Uh, moving down to his hips though, uh, for me, he's pretty loose actually which is kind of annoying um he can be a little bit more i guess harder to pose due to that i mean he still holds the pose okay um but depending on the weight distribution it may slightly move a little bit um but overall it moves okay um you've got the main joint underneath there and you've got another separate one on the leg uh doesn't seem like it can move too much on that one though i guess it's just where the different uh, parts of his legs are combined and joined uh, normally on other figures we'll give it extra twist and swivel there which this one does not really appear to have coming down to the knee this is hidden pretty well actually um, and somewhat decent motion actually uh, so it can move in and out pretty well and it holds the positioning again really well so that's nice to see and a giant peg on the bottom for his ankle and the motion on this is actually feels really nice uh, so yeah that is really good to see and uh, no toe tip um, point of articulation though, which is quite weird um, I would have expected these uh, to pivot on themselves uh, which is what you do get on the uh, normal figure arts line so that is kind of weird it seems like this is definitely a uh, hybrid between the SH Monster Arts and SH Figure Arts line now my favourite part of the Monster Art figures are generally always the tails I thought this one is a little bit disappointing um, I think it is because it is a very thin tail um, but we have the main section on his body there and then we've got another point of articulation then we've got a couple going through it though these pegs are pretty small uh, so it will pop off easily uh, if you push it too far there we go, one just popped off now uh, so I did notice that when I was taking photos earlier when I was trying to um, bend into a right position uh, the pegs would just keep popping off um, and same with the two um, I guess there's a uh, tail end parts here these are just two small pegs uh, so I mean it looks and works well ish um, but they do kind of come off easily uh, so they can be a little bit frustrating at times so it's not as fun uh, to pose or I guess um, to play with compared to other figures I mean I always just think back to the uh, Ultima from Godzilla SP that tail was so much fun to play with um, so when you get something like this it's a little bit more mm, yeah that's okay <laughs> so the hands that he has he comes with two pairs which is actually very similar uh, the extra hands we have are just the fingers fully spread out whereas the ones on him straight out of the box have the curved fingers so let's pop his left hand off and pop the extra one on so as you can see there isn't too much of a difference I guess um, one can be good for if you're going to grab onto the Godzilla and speaking of Godzilla we've got the 04 Godzilla right here that pairs up beautifully with Monster X uh, they both have those really nice um, eyes that pop um, but yeah overall I think together these figures work really well I don't think I would want Monster X just by himself but that's just me I think if you're a huge Monster X fan um, just having him by yourself would be fantastic but I think both of these two um, paired up together is the way to go. Now I do have a photo of these two kind of battling it out which I'll post at the end of this video uh, so you can check that out. Plus there'll be extra photos up on rockchillard.com and on Instagram later. Okay so now time for some final thoughts for this figure and I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know if I like him or dislike him at this point in time. Um, I think it's going to be one of those figures I need to kind of play with and kind of uh, 
I guess get out for a few photos and have a fiddle um, over a long period of time to really solidify my thoughts on this release. Overall, I think if you're a Monster X fan or a Final Wars movie um, fanatic, you'll definitely probably love this figure. Um, my only real gripes is he's a little bit harder to pose. I mean, slightly looser leg joints there, which is a bit disappointing. Same with the tail. It's a bit... <sighs> These joints, if there's a few more smaller ones, I think it would have been a lot nicer. It's just a little bit, I don't know, just feels kind of cheap, I guess. And same with the overall finish for him. Um, maybe if I had some die cast parts, it would have really elevated this figure, but then again, that would have increased the cost. We have some nice detailing on the outside of the skulls, but on the inside, it's just one straight base color. Uh, so it's just these smaller parts like that, this kind of makes it feel a little bit. Not half assed but yeah, maybe not a solid release for me, I think, overall. And same, it would have been nice if it had some toe joints. Uh, the coloring on the spike, I mean, it looks quite nice, but then you only have one dark part on the very tip. It's just if there's a bit more of that throughout it to really bring it together, it would have been really nice. Um, but yeah, I think overall, it would be a fun figure to get in and have some battles with the... Um, 04 Godzilla here who is a really fun figure um, and another point I want to make is that I love the texture of these figures they kind of feel kind of matte they have that nice rough sculpted feeling and whereas this figure it doesn't have it as much a lot of the parts are obviously kind of smooth from the design but just I don't know it sort of comes across as a bit more plasticky um, but I think it does do a great representation of bringing the uh, character from movie to figure form so that is a huge bonus but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about this figure if they've done a good job of capturing the essence of monster x in figure form and what do you think about the points i made about the uh, kind of tail and articulation do you think it's a valid uh, criticism for this figure or not um but definitely for 2022 and this is at the very bottom of my i guess uh, tier list for the sh monster arts releases um but yeah that basically covers it for this video um again if you did like it please uh like subscribe and all that jazz and yeah just uh stay tuned for the next sh monster arts release and review so yeah thank you very much for watching until next time cheers